Uh, good morning, children. Uh, I want to thank God for this far. I know that God has uh, kept all of us. Uh, we can rejoice because our God is still a good God. He cares for us. As you know, as I normally tell you, that our God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. God never changes. He never changes. Eh? He remains to be God. This might be tough, this might be hard, but our God still remains to be God. And that's why you remember uh, the song that we, we love to sing that uh, uh, God loves me. Uh, let's start, or let, let me sing it a, a little bit. Eh? God loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little one to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, I know. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, I know. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. So Jesus loves us, no matter what happens in our lives. I know last week, uh, 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 last week uh, uh, you observe uh, uh, Teacher Ben teaching uh, uh, I remember, I remember uh, the topic. I don't know whether you remember that topic. Uh -huh. uh, 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 can anyone remember about the topic? Uh -huh. It was all about uh, uh, making choices. Eh? It was about making choices. And you see, in our lives, we need to make choices. No matter what, we need to make choices. And you remember the other Sunday, teacher Jane uh, Kiarie, uh, teaching, he, uh, she taught about uh, 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 choosing light. And now, as a children, we need to choose what is right. We need to make choices in our lives. Now, let me tell you uh, 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 something that's, uh, uh, that's uh, uh, very, very uh, uh, helpful, or the one that will help me and you to remember this. Life journey should be a lot smoother if we consider consequences. So today, what are we going to listen? What am I going to teach? I'm going to teach about the consequences of our choices. So remember, the consequences of our choices. What is consequences? Huh? But before we go further, let's tell God something because I'm going, I'm going to teach you about the consequences of our choices. So let's acknowledge God for this hour or for today. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and we bless you. You are wonderful and a good God in our lives. You have taken care of us to this far. We can say that you are Ebenezer in our lives. So Jehovah God, today, as we go through this topic, uh, consequences of our choices, help us, Jehovah God, in every area, in every choice that we make, so that we may consider the consequences. And now, in the name of Jesus, we do give thanks. Okay, thank you. Now, we are going to continue. Uh, remember, my topic is, uh -huh, my topic is the consequences of our choices. The key verse today will come from the book of our Second Corinthians, chapter number five, and verse number ten. Yeah, I repeat again, Second Corinthians, chapter number five, and verse number ten. Uh, the Bible tells us in that area. The Bible says uh, uh, this, eh? this is what the Bible says, that we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. All of us we must appear. Me and you, our parents, our president, everyone, our bishop, Reverend Peter Gaia, and everyone will appear before the judgment seat of Christ. And the Bible continues saying that we will give an account of whatever we do in this body, whether it is good or bad. Imagine whether it is good or bad, we'll give an account. We will be judged accordingly 
what we have done, done in our flesh. And that's why I, I, I tell you that whatever we do, we have to choose. Whatever we do, we have to think about the consequences because the consequences will come. The consequences are there. You see, if the cons uh, consequences start, then we'll be able to know what is coming. We'll be able to know. Now, what I'm, uh, I'm going to tell uh, about these uh, consequences, listen to this. The life would be a whole lot smoother if we would consider the consequences of our choices before we act. Our life's maintenance has always been a matter of choice since God created and placed man in the Garden of Eden and gave him this commandment. So if we can only think about the consequences, what we choose today, it will be okay because we know it will backfire tomorrow. There will be problem tomorrow. When God gave or when God made Adam and Eve or when God made us, then Adam and Eve were there or God made them to be there. Now, remember, uh, the Bible tell, or God tells them, oh, you should not eat from that tree. Remember, there was a, a, a I know you know about the tree. Uh, God tell them uh, that there is a, a tree that you should not eat from it, uh, from it. Then when God gave them this commandment, it was Adam and Eve to choose what God has commanded them to do. And imagine, uh, we can learn that from uh, uh, in the book of uh, Genesis, chapter number 2, 16 and 17. And this is what God tell these, uh, 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 or tell Adams and Eve. And the God commanded the man saying, of every tree of a garden, thou must freely eat. So God commanded them, or oh God, you may eat every, every, other, every other fruit from the tree. But but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. So there was that tree of knowledge of good and evil. What God, how, how does God say about it? This is what God say about that tree. You shall not eat of it. So Mungu akambia kwamba musikule hata kidogo. You shall not eat from it. So it was that God commanded them not to eat from that tree. But imagine the Bible continues saying, for in the day that you eat, therefore you will surely die. So God kwamba, there is a consequences of eating that tree. And the consequence was that you shall die. So God tell them that you die. Now, it, it was upon Adam and Eve to listen what God tells, tells them. They should not eat. Or rather, they would face the consequence, which was to die. And now, imagine what happened later. What happened later? We know one day, Satan came to them, came to Eve. Na kamuambiaje, hey, atimuliambiwa musikule matuda ya yule ya yule mti, ama ya matuda yote katika katika bustani hili. Ah, lakini, ah, hivu wakamuambia kwamba, no, we were given to eat, but one tree we should not dare to eat. Then, imagine what happened. The time Eve listened to the enemy, she picked fruits from that tree. She ate the, the, the fruits. Na bade ya kura, akape na mnagani, akachukua matunda zingine, akapatia mume wake. Alipo patia mume wake. What happened? Sasa, kwa sababu the consequence ya ire dhambi ilikuwa, lazima watu wagedere ya kufa. Imagine, 
even today, even today, uh, the consequence of Adam's choice is with us today. And that's why every man has to die. Consequence is a result of choice. It is not a, a, a variable. It is a consistent. The wages of sin is death. This is the word of God. Uh, God warned man of the consequence of sin before man sinned. Just or God is just. Now imagine, because of that, because of that, the, because of Adam, because of Eve, even today people die. Why? Because of Adam. Imagine, not because of you. It is because of Adam and Eve. And so everyone has to die. And now, and that's why I'm telling you, uh, children, that there is consequences of sins. There is consequences of choices. Whatever we do today, tomorrow it will come. It will bring its fruits. Because when, when someone goes uh, in shamba and plant, kwevyo anatajia nini? Anatajia kuvuna. Kwevyo, narorote ambalo tunalifanya today, tomorrow, tutaenda kurivuna. Na hiyo diyo mandiko inavyo tuambia ya kwamba tutaenderea kuvuna kiri abacho, tulipanda. Kwevyo, for now, you may, uh, 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 you may see like uh, parents, like teachers, uh, kuna vitu ambavyo anasemi ya kwamba, no, don't do that. But sometimes as a children, it is harsh. Daddy, you are harsh to me. Mommy, you are harsh to me. Oh, teacher, you are harsh to me. Now, remember, uh, uh, remember, parents or teachers know, and that's why they are telling you, don't do that because they have been there and know, they know the consequence of whatever you do, it will come. And that's why today, children, I want to tell you, freely, I want to tell you, because you know I love you, yeah? Uh, class Genesis, you know that I love you. Uh, as the teachers, we love you. Class uh, honeybees, we love you. Class uh, Ezekiel, we love you. Peniel, we love you. And, uh, and uh, Victor, we love you. And that's why, as, uh, as your pastor today, I'm telling you that you have to remember there is uh, consequences of our choices. Whatever we do today, it will come tomorrow. Remember, because of Adam and Eve, death is there today. And now, that's why I urge you in the name of Jesus that we may be smart children. I know that you are saved. I know that you believe in God. I know that even you believe in, in teachers and in parents. And that's why I urge you, let us continue to be good. Let's make choices. If you are told, don't do that. Don't do it because there is choice. There is a consequence of that that will come tomorrow. Let you remain to be good as, as it tells you. The Bible says that uh, when Jesus was growing, he was growing being loved by people uh, and God himself. And to you, uh, let's continue to grow, being loved by our parents, uh, being loved uh, by, 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 by everybody in the society. Let's make uh, wise choices. Let's uh, make wise choices because of tomorrow, because uh, the consequence, it will come. Let's come, uh, let's come good, let, let it come uh, uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a good picture. Let us come uh, according to God's word, because that's what God wants in us. And now, children, as I wind up today, because I love you, as I wind up today, I want to tell you, even, uh, even in your homes, wherever you are, uh, 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 I urge you, let's continue to pray for the whole uh, the Sunday school department. Let's pray for our teachers because teachers are praying for you. At uh, such a time, we need each other. And remember, God hear your prayers. Remember, God hear your prayers. And because God hear your prayers, pray for your parents. Pray for your country. 
Free, free for these, uh, uh, these uh, uh, thing called coronavirus. It will go. Tell God about it and it will go because our God is still a good God. And he says, behold, I am your God and I will do, uh, I will answer your prayer. So as I wind up, I want us to thank God. And remember, we love you as our teachers. Let's pray. Father and our God, thank you for each and every child. Thank you for those who are small one class Genesis, oh God. I bless them in the name of Jesus. Thank you for honeybees, Jehovah God. You know them by their names, Jehovah God. Let you bless them and protect them, Jehovah God. Father, I pray even for, uh, for Ezekiel, our good God in the name of Jesus. Let you stretch your hand and bless them. Let you do good to them, to their parents in the name of Jesus. Thank you, oh God, for Peniel. God Almighty, you know them by their names. Let you bless them. Let you do good to them in the name of Jesus Christ, O God. Thank you, Jehovah God, for victors, Jehovah God, and all the all the ministers, uh, them who minister uh, to these children, Jehovah God. Let you go, do good to them because you are good God. In the name of Jesus, we do pray and we give thanks. Amen.